What's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood, a French Canadian, and today, as you can clearly see, I'll be showcasing a Darth Vader mod for Elden Ring. This mod looks absolutely beautiful. The model they chose looks so good. I think it comes from Battlefront, if I'm not mistaken, but they didn't specify uh, the mod author. It didn't say where it was from, but it looks so good that it doesn't feel too out of place in the game either, like some other ones that I've seen. The details look perfect and the lightsabers as well, they look so, so good. So if you wanted this mod for yourself and install it on your game, just be aware that you can break your game, you can get banned, but as long as you follow all the steps and you watch videos to ensure that it doesn't happen, then you will be perfectly fine. It's like modding any other game. And it's relatively easy to install as well, so once you understand the risks and you want to mod your game, then you head on over to nexusmods.com. You need to make an account to be able to download mods, but it's a pretty easy and straightforward from there. I will put the links uh, for both of the lightsabers, the regular one, as well as the double-bladed lightsaber, and of course Darth Vader's uh, entire costume or armor. There's also plenty of different colors, literally every color of lightsaber you can think of, uh, they have it. So you can really customize your, your character to uh, look how you want. Uh, specifically if you don't want to use like this Darth Vader costume and you just want to make a Jedi maybe or something like that, then you definitely can do that as well with this mod. And if you're looking for a Jedi or a Sith build to do so, then I have both of those on my channel. They're full guides where I show you exactly uh, where to get everything you need to make the build. Overall, it's really fun and it's nice that it changes things up in the game. You know, we're used to all the regular armors we have. It's been a while since the game's out, so it's really nice to shake things up and uh, have some new armor to play with and to play around with in the game, especially if you want to like roleplay a certain character and you don't have the armor or the weapons that necessarily fit with that character from the items we have with the base game, which is why I freaking adore mods. So I hope you enjoyed this little showcase of my Darth Vader. Now I'm going to show you where you can find these items in game. So to get this armor set in game once you've installed the mod, you need to go find the Confessor armor set because basically the mod author overwrote the Darth Vader set onto that specific ar armor set that was in game. So you need to have it or go and buy it to be able to see the changes. Now, if you don't have that set already, I'll show you where you can buy it from a vendor in game. So make your way to Mount Gilmir, take the Bridge of Iniquity Side of Grace, and we need to go find the Nomadic Merchant right here. So follow me and I'll show you the route.
nice. And once you get here, you'll be able to purchase the entire set from this vendor. Now, there are two weapons you need to get, depending on which lightsaber you chose, whether it's the regular one or the two-bladed lightsaber. And it's the same story as the armor, basically the mod overrides a certain weapon in-game. So uh, for the regular lightsaber, it's the Warhawk Talon, and for the double-bladed lightsaber, it's the Godskin Peeler. So I'll show you where to get both of these weapons. To find the Warhawk's Talon, you need to make your way to Stormvale Cliffside, so in the Stormvale Castle. And unfortunately, what you have to do is farm these birds, the birds with the knives on their feet who are freaking annoying as hell. But the drop rate is not too bad. It took me like uh, two times, I think, to get it. So. so once you do get it and you equip it and you've installed the mod, then you should have this lightsaber instead of the uh, regular Warhawk Talon skin. The lightsaber model itself is really, really good. It even glows red. It looks freaking awesome. Now, the only thing missing from this mod is actually sound effects. And we only have the regular sound effects from the game, but I'm sure that's coming uh, sometime soon. To get the god skin peeler to be able to use the two-sided lightsaber if that's the mod you downloaded, then you need to make your way to Windmill Heights. It's in the Altus Plateau right here. And you'll have to fight a boss, one of the Godskin nobles, and once you defeat him, they will drop the Godskin pillar for you. So the moment you equip it, if you've installed the mod again, then you will see the modded skin, which is the uh, double-bladed lightsaber. And again, it just looks uh, so freaking good. So that's it for this mod showcase, everyone. Let me know if you want to see more of these videos. I know I'm a bit late for May 4th, but it is what it is. So have yourself a wonderful day, everyone. And I'll see you all very soon.